What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do you guys Monday through Friday bringing you junk journal content and videos. So if that's what you're into, please do hit that subscribe button and give me a little thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out. So today you guys, I decided, well I did this a, a while ago. I printed on some tissue paper successfully. I watched this video where the girl, um, she literally just taped paper around a piece. I think she used cardstock around a piece of cardstock. So I just cut a piece of uh, tissue, just regular tissue paper fr from the dollar store, bigger than a regular piece of eight and a half by 11 page. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Jen. Hi, Patricia. Hello, Mud Hut. <laughs> And um, I ran it through my printer. As you can see, it kind of seeped some of that ink onto the piece of cardstock. But otherwise, I was able to just keep taking off the piece of tape on the back, putting on the next piece of tissue paper. And I ended up printing um, one of my junk journal pages, one of my printable junk journal pages, which is set number 62 in black. I was able to print that out. Many, many times over. Let me make sure I don't have the tape down here. Take off the tape. Tape is not good. And for tissue paper. And I have paper on tissue paper. Um, so, yeah, so I printed out all nine pages on the tissue paper. So it's nice and delicate. And I wanted to do some decoupage with it. So I figured. I would do that live. This was a lot of fun to design these pages. These are the pages printed two on one page. I want to play with different sizes. So I went ahead and printed them out in different sizes. Again, this is um, two pages on one. And um, this is four pages on one. I didn't know what size I wanted to make. The pockets, I did end up deciding to make them four by four like I normally do. Um, but yeah, these are those designs. The, the set comes with nine pages. I printed um, printed them all out large size and then a couple different smaller sizes too. It took me a minute to do it. This was not quick because um, I had to tape around each page <laughs> around the cardstock. <laughs> That's really what took the longest. But um, I decided to make these pockets here. Now with this one, I decoupage the napkins underneath and then put the tissue on top. And on this one, I decoupage first the tissue I printed on here and then did the napkins on top of that. So I've been trying both uh, techniques to see which one I like. I did try it over here and it came out way too dark. Maybe my napkin here was too dark. And then... um. I got this one drying off to the side, just some tissue around here, and then I just stick the the napkin tissue around there, like that. Sorry about that, these freaking allergies. <laughs> so this will dry and then I'll cut it out. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Of course it is for a junk journal. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll go ahead and sew on it. But for today, I just wanted to do these. They have to be nice and dry for me to try and put them through my sewing machine. I don't want to go up my sewing machine. But um, I'm just starting here with a um, eight by eight piece, of, sorry, four by four piece of cardstock. And I just have a Mod Posh, just regular matte Mod Posh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue all over the, the 4x4 square here. Of course, you can do whatever size you want. I love napkin Mod Posh. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. Let me get um, the next paper I'm going to work with. I can deal with this one right here. I am going to um, do this on the back of it. I'm just going to pick this corner right here and lay this down nice and flat here. 
a nice piece of a design here, and then I'm going to cut it out roughly. You can use that tinted glaze. What tinted glaze? What is that? What are you talking about? I don't think I have any tinted glaze. What is that? Okay, so this looks really cute. I really like the way this design prints out on the tissue paper. And funny enough, I did just decide to decoupage on top of some printed paper that already had this design on it. And for some reason, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look the same. So I decided to keep going on with the printing on the tissue paper. Which again, was not hard. You can look up how to print on tissue paper. But basically, like I said, pretend this is the piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I just cut a piece um, of tissue paper, regular tissue paper, bigger than that piece. I end up cutting this off right here after it's taped up, but I just take down the sides on each side there. And that works. Oh yeah, stains. Ah, yeah, you're right. I want these to be a little bit more vibrant, but um, okay, so we have that design there. Now let me try and pick some, and I'm using an inkjet, inkjet printer, and my printer is not running with this. So just so you know, um, it is possible with the inkjet printer. I am trying to pick more of the images that have like a white napkin, like this right here. This has a white napkin. So I'll lay that down right here. Make sure my, my glue stays tacky. That one's not the clearest, but that's fine. I do have a large assortment of napkins, <laughs> a very large assortment of napkins. And uh, it's great, but sometimes it like gives me a minute to go through them and glue. Does not wait. <laughs> Glue does not like to wait for me that. So that one there. Okay, this one here. Got more flowers. I got a lot of floral papers. <laughs> a lot of floral papers. But that's okay. You have this like bluish one right here in the little corner. Okay, it looks a little crazy and it is. I'm gonna cut off some bits of it so it's not too crazy here. Okay. And I'm gonna um, cover it. With more wash. Ugh, my Mod Podge has formed a skin. I will have to stop once I'm out of Mod Podge because that's it. I'm out of Mod Podge. <laughs> the bottle is down to the end. This was maybe about the most glue I can take out of it. I could also do this on the paper. Cool. Okay, so that I'm going to let glow. Look how pretty that looks with that background on the back. I downloaded my second video tonight and tagged your channel. I used a lot of different things. Ooh. You uploaded with me, you downloaded. You down, you uploaded a video. See how it's going to look pretty once it clears up. I will cut it down once it is not as sticky anymore. Okay, I need a new, uh, paper towel. Give me one second. I need to grab a paper towel. Okay. I don't want to get all that glue on my cardstock or my tissue. I'm using a silicone brush. 
it is my favorite kind of brush to use. Now for this one, I'm going to lay down the decoupage papers first and then my printed papers. So, let's see what happens. Just gonna put, I'm going to have napkins all over the floor. <laughs> I can already tell they will be all over the floor because they already are all over the floor. I've been keeping my tissues in a, in a uh, Ziploc bag and right now I'm going through them quickly and they're falling. <laughs> They're falling. I'll go there. And here. Oh my god, these napkins. Okay, this one. Just right there. Okay. So, and then that one right. Why did I get right? It's not going to kind of just like scrunch it. <laughs> see. Okay, look at that and that. Look, oh my god, I have. <laughs> you can't see it with my napkins, and then there's a fan, so yeah, that's not good. Okay, so now that we got this, let's get it all wet again with glue. You do have to be careful because they are napkins and they will tear if you move them too much. If they get too wet and you're moving them around, they might break. It is possible. Okay, now that we have glue all over this, let's get another piece of this here. I'm going to put this on top of this here. Like that. And it just makes like a pretty background for it. And I love it. I'm going to take a posh this down. Again, I did use an inkjet printer to print out this uh, black and white design here on tissue paper. And the ink is not running. Now, normally, I would tell you never to get your inkjet print out sweat. But in this case, it's not running, so that's good. And that looks so pretty. We got a jelly plate, Jen, yay! I gotta do Christmas jelly plates. So this, is, this has to dry off to the side, but I do like how the main text shows, and then you get all these nice pops of color in the background. I enjoy that very much. Okay, okay. The one I made right before I went live looks pretty good. I can cut it now. It's cold and dry. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and trim down the tissue paper so part two will be me sewing these tomorrow I don't want to sew them right now because they'll possibly mess up my sewing machine tomorrow I'll go around and do some stitching on it it might be cute some like different colored threads would be kind of cute I like that oh no Lena you got a stiff neck no that's the worst. Well, I have y'all online. Let me show you the printable that I put out today. I really like it. It turned out really, really pretty. Um, I used some designs from those hankies that I uh, printed out. And I think these are pretty cute. These are um, my little mini files. And like I said, I used some of those um, hanky designs on these. And I think they look really cute. I really like the way these came out. All right there. They have like postcard inspired little thing that you there. This one's probably one of my favorites right here. 
of those flowers everywhere. They went kind of crazy. Those came out really, really cute. Yeah, these were a lot of fun. See, this is okay. I'm okay with scanning things like this. I might scan some um, fabrics to use them in designs, not to just sell them as printouts, but I will use them in designs. I'll try to do that. These were a lot of fun, though. There's a lot of colors in these. So yeah, check them out in my shop. Thank you guys so much for your support. I just wanted to show those off because they were so pretty. They were so pretty. Okay, so what are we doing now? Let me plan this out before I do it because oh my goodness, because when it's wet with glue and I'm panicking. <laughs> That's not good. Um, okay, so I think I can do this little flower right here. This part is cute to use with him. Yes, we're making pockets, Zeno. These little extra pieces I'll use somewhere else. Oh my goodness, these look so cute. I'm so excited. Let me put down the layers of colors first. I kind of like that better than the other way. But let's see. Let's use this right here. I'm going to use this part right here. This one's just going to be pretty easy. Putting this tissue paper right here. Again, this is the one I printed on. Made my own custom tissue paper. Because I need more tissue paper. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so here's this long strip here. I don't want to get it too close. Where this little green look in here. And then we got one more strip. Got this right here. That's not going to work. That, oh, that part had no glue on it. <laughs> that part had no glue. Okay, there we go. This one's interesting. Now let's put a nice long decoupage on top. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I just kind of relaxed most of the time. Me and Hubby watched a lot of TV, a lot of Pimple Popper. <laughs> That's what we've been watching lately is Dr. Pimple Popper. You had ham. Ooh, ham. Oh yeah, it was Easter. I'll lift it up here. Oh my gosh. There's glue everywhere. I'm just gonna set it aside. Okay, let's see. This one that we did is kind of good to be cut. Again, I'm just using regular mod matte mod podge, which I love. You gotta go get more. You never, it's such a big, I always buy the 32 ounce one and it's such a big um, container. You feel like you're never gonna use it up. And then you use it up and you're like, but that's crazy. That was a lot of Mod Podge I went through. I probably buy like one of those a year or something. Like, <laughs> don't buy that very often. 
Okay, so here's that one that we did in the beginning. That one looks really cute. I love it. Uh, check out the page set that I printed out on tissue. So you can do that. Too. You can try out this project as well. Okay. Okay, let's do this one now. We are going to get all our tissue papers down. Like that, like that, and get on our tissue paper. I will pick this one. I do like that paper. Got this paper right here. I'm pulling out all my papers here. This might be too dark for over there. And right here. I have tissue paper stuck to me everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. This can be right here. And yeah, this can go right here. Okay, and I can cut up these little chunks and put them in this little missing spot right here and right here. Okay, okay, so now we'll put decoupage on it. For a, the ATC cars, you look cool with that t-shirt if you're in the background. And then mod podging paper towels that I use to clean up the ink. That's interesting. That is interesting. Zoom out. Sounds pretty cool. Let's get this all uh, mod podged on here. And then we're going to get the image we want. On it. Just like that. I love it. I love it. A little Mod Podge on top of it. There's a lot of Mod Podge going on here. The papers end up feeling like jelly. <laughs> jelly. Okay, again, I'm using, I used an inkjet printer to print this black and white design out. And it is not running, so that's what I love. Okay. Okay, I'm moving this over to dry on my desk. <laughs> it's soaking wet right now. And they are dry, and look how that looks really pretty. Nice and dark. Oh, I love it. I love it. This out here. Okay, get this out of the way. Now we have this cool pocket right here. I like the colors popping through the black and white. Makes it look more festive. I like it. I like it. So now we got, got some to do. Maybe I'll put some like borders on this. I don't know. We'll see what I do. Might just sew on it. Messy sewing would be cute on here. Nothing more relaxing than Mod Podge. I really do like to Mod Podge, but sometimes it's like ugh, the glue on my fingers kind of gets on my nerves. <laughs> 
that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Let's see, next we have this right here. And then we'll just have a little bit extra, so maybe I'll use more of this side right here. Okay. Okay. I think I'm liking more putting the black and white tissue on top of the um on top of the Mod Posh. On top of the napkin paper, I think, is what I'm liking. I think I can. Oh, my nose, you guys, help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. My napkin bag is... It's going to be a mess to put back. It's going to be such a mess. But, okay. Okay, okay. Let's keep going here, my gosh. Down our papers here. I have done this with Christmas, um, with Christmas tissue paper. I've never done it with regular tissue, so that's why we're doing it today. We are gonna do it. This little slice goes right here. Down here still. Can go right there, and then I have that little strip there. Put this there. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with these. They look cute. That one even looks cute. I could do some more of those. Okay. Ooh, I got that Mod Posh skin on it. <laughs> Gross. Should have poured it out in my little container instead of using the lid. Sometimes I use the lid. That's what I'm using right now. And it kind of dries out a little bit. Especially since I have my fan on. That probably doesn't help. Okay. Okay. So now that we're done with that, let's mod podge all on top of it. On the top. And then, got a Mod Podge paper. Put that down on top of that. tissue which that's why I wait till it's dry to cut it up because the tissue is so pliable because it's kind of wet sometimes I just can't stand it okay let's not posh on top of it one more time and that'll be it for this one it just looks so pretty with all the colors popping out on top I mean underneath I mean underneath the next one, we'll make sure to use sections of the paper. Okay. Now this one's going to be off to dry. Okay. 
Let's do one of the designs. I'm going to use this part of the tissue, not the whole tissue. Um, let's see, we got this design right here. And let's see, we can use this little part right here with this lady. I'll tell us for. Okay. will be put down here on the right. Right there like that. Nice and pretty. This is just regular tissue paper from the dollar store. Like I said, I cut it, cut the tissue paper bigger than an eight and a half by 11. And then I tucked in the sides and taped it on the back of, the, of a piece of card stock. And I just ran it through my printer. I cut off the, the top and the bottom and then the sides are taped. That's how I did it. That's how it happened. Just my regular ink drip printer. I didn't have to do anything else. Just ran it through. And I printed it on high, high quality. It was great. It was wonderful. I, I saw a video. It was recommended to me this video on how to make your own custom tissue paper. And that's all she did was that she, could, like I said, cut the tissue bigger than the piece of cardstock. Wrapped it around like this, tape this right here, cut the top and the bottom, and then tape the other side over. Just ran it through, and I was like, what? <laughs> so I tried it and I showed you guys the uh I showed you guys the, the the little girl photos I printed out. Okay, let me mod podge on top of this. This one's pretty simple, but I think that imagery is pretty elaborate, so it's okay to have a couple, just only a couple pieces of napkin here. You should, Zena, you should. It's awesome. As soon as I saw that, I knew what papers I wanted to print out. I knew I wanted to print out these black and white ones. Okay, so now this one is ready to dry. Oh, hang on, let me find space for it. This one's dry-ish now. This one's dry-ish too. Hey, Paper Inspirations, how are you, girl? How are you? Out. Not print out. <laughs> Let me just cut this out here. Okay, and this whole thing here feels like jelly. It's kind of funny. Okay, I'll cut it out a little bit better later. I don't want to get close to that as it wasn't too dry. This is drier. Ugh, it's not dry enough. Not yet. Okay, we'll have to wait. I'm too patient with Dick Posh. Okay. Let's do another one. Oh, my back. My back. 
Okay. Um, let's see. I guess just this part right here. Just cut like this. I think that's how tall they are. Patricia, if you do have a moment, please do give me a little thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you. Okay, so again, four by four piece of cardstock. Some Mod Podge. And we're just going to have some fun here with some napkins. And some of our custom printed tissue paper. It, it's fun, it's easy to do. It just takes time because you have to wrap the tissue paper around each piece of, <laughs> around each piece of uh, cardstock. I just kept using the same cardstock and just um, um, and just kept uh, taping it to the back and untaping it. That does take a minute. Okay. And then we could put something in the middle. We could. It feels like it needs something, or at least right here. Let's see. Let's make a strip. Strip, strip, strip of something. There's a strip right here. That'll go good right here. Okay, so now we can mod podge this. Cut off some of this right here because I can't deal with it. Just get the glue everywhere. Yeah, it is a silicone brush, silicone face mask brush. I love these things. Let me link it on my Amazon list. I usually have a link for it. No, it's not it. Is the link for it? Here it is. Silicone face mask brushes. If y'all want to check them out on Amazon, that is my affiliate link for them. I bought these so long ago, <laughs> and I've never really had to order anyone, so I am so happy with them. Four, six. I can't remember how many I bought, but it's enough to last you a long time. And uh, I'm normally not responsible with brushes at all. Like, I don't clean them or nothing. So I kept, it was like basically like a one-time use because I was terrible. Um, but now with the silicone brush, I just peel off the paint, peel off the glue, and just keep going. I love it. Okay, so that's this one right here. That one looks pretty, half and half there. Okay, so now here's the next one we're gonna do. Glue off of my, um, I'm just doing this on parchment paper here. Yeah, it's great, it's great, you'll love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna have another piece here. These flowers would be cool to get a piece of them. Black and white flowers over here. This is definitely one of my favorite things I've designed. It's just so pretty. 
the whole um, black and white, almost like a stamp set. I've been interested in doing that kind of, I love black and white. So I was really having, I had a lot of fun designing that one. Here. Napkins are so much fun. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew napkins would be so much fun? I don't know. I love it. I love it. Just sit here and take posh sometimes. Fun. You want to do something, but you don't want to think about it too much. Get out some napkins and glue them down. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. Let me get this up to the side. Oop. I don't want to touch anything else though now. Don't touch my other. Okay. One second, let me move some stuff around here. I'm using the smallest part of my desk to like try and space these things out. <laughs> I'm silly. Okay. Great for gesso too, is it? I've never used gesso. Sounds fancy. I'm going to use one of my small ones. This is what's left over from cutting out um, four four by fours on, on a eight and a half by 11 sheet. So I'm going to have to use these two. Have this. Scenery here, this little, they're just flowers. I don't even know what kind of flowers they are. I don't know. Now let's put some stuff over here. I'll just put this, put this right here. That look interesting. And we have one last little sliver here to do. Okay, here's this blue one. This is cool. It's not enough of it though. Like I'm not gonna use a lot of it, so. Uh, let me just put on these little pieces here. There we go. Looks fabulous. Marna, hi Marna. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to montage this down now. These are going to be so much fun. These little pockets. They're going to be so much fun. The soda tomorrow. I wonder what color I should use. Yellow, maybe some turquoise. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. That one looks pretty. I like the black and white and then all the colors. That is a lot of fun. 
that looks like a lot of fun. Again, these have to completely dry. Don't keep them <laughs> on top of each other while they're still kind of drying because they will kind of stick a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. <laughs> Daisy, how do you stay motivated to make journals? Hi, Karen. Well, it's my job, you know. Like, I make printables and then I want to make journals. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> I design printables and then I want to use them. It's vicious. It's vicious. But uh, I truly, truly enjoy it. I really do. Um, it just feels like uh, I really liked when I went to college and we have to do like art projects. Everything just feels like an art project and I love it. I have a lot of fun. There's always something to do, you know, there really is always something, <laughs> something to do with junk journals. Pockets, or envelopes, or cards. I always like to focus on one thing at a time and like get better at that one thing like get better at making cards or get ready better at making pockets it's fun it's just fun last two hours cleaning my google storage of junk pictures screenshots of nonsense <laughs> myrna that's funny i haven't done that ever <laughs> i probably need to <laughs> I need to get some water, one second. Okay, I'm also motivated by the fact that people buy my junk journals, so that helps. Might take one day for the journal to sell, might take one year for the journal to sell, that's fine, I'm okay with that. Seeing as though I've made over a hundred drunk journals, I would not have space to keep a hundred drunk journals. But it's just so much fun making them. It really is. I just really enjoy it. That's why I also like, I take my weekend and I don't do, well, if I can help it, sometimes I can't help myself. But I do try to take the weekend off and not craft. I just focus on spending time with my husband, hanging out, laying on the couch, laying on the bed, taking lots, lots of naps. So that also helps. I try not to work on junk journals like all day, all day. You know, like I spend my morning working on printables, then my, my evening, I'll try, I'll come over to my craft desk and I'll think about what I'm going to do that night. So definitely YouTube, also making these YouTube channels. Keeps me going, too. Because if I stop making videos, people will be like, where are you? What are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> so that keeps me going as well. That's very helpful to have people worrying about where I am because I haven't posted a video. <laughs> it's lovely. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> so that definitely also keeps me going. Definitely. I've been slow stitching lately and can't get off of making journal cover. See, that's what that's what I also like. I like learning new things and then applying it to junk journal. Like, you know what I mean? Like when I started quilting, when I started my uh, working with some jewels, like everything goes back to junk journal. So I still get to learn new, um, you know, new things. But every day, everything just comes back to junk journals. <laughs> my ultimate love. And you know what? That's okay. Work on what makes you happy. Don't worry about other people's pace. You know, I know some people make a thousand junk journals a year. If you don't make any junk journals that year, you know what? That's okay. You're not going at nobody else's pace but your own. That also helps me keep motivated. Like, I don't try, I try not to compare myself to other people. If, <laughs> if this year I want to spend making embellishments and pockets and tags, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to like try and keep up with anybody else. I just, I'm having fun. As long as I'm having fun, you know, I can keep going until it's not fun anymore. I might consider a second craft. <laughs> uh, have you figured out the baggy, baggy board? 
The baggy board. What? Are you talking to me, John? Baggy board? What is baggy board? Oh, 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 yes, yes. The bag, yes, yes. The pocket. The pocket board. No, I have not. <laughs> I have not touched it. I gotta, I gotta think about it again. It was a little frustrating. <laughs> and when things are a little bit frustrating, I step away from them. So... I'm stepping away for my uh, mental health. <laughs> for the good of my mental health, I am stepping away. <laughs> so I'll work on it soon. I'll work on it soon. I do like it, though, but there's something I'm not doing right. Um, I must not be turning it right when I, when I score. I don't know. Those boards are always like, oh, you have to turn it 90 degree here and then 90 degree here. So... It's going to take me a minute, but that's okay. It's going to just take me a little minute. <laughs> okay. Here, this is where I want to use this blue one because it's so pretty. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's tons. Of, I know. I know. And I watched. <laughs> And I watched some before I bought it. <laughs> and it made sense before I got it. And then I got it and I was like, wait, what did y'all do? What happened? <laughs> That'll happen to me also. It will. It will happen to me. So I just got to rewatch some videos. Definitely that. Definitely I'm not saying I don't need to watch videos. I do. Because I thought I was doing it right, and then it's, I noticed I wasn't. <laughs> I'm like, why is everything coming out crooked? Because I remember with the envelope maker, it was like, and you know what's funny? I never really even played with my envelope maker because I, I don't like it. <laughs> it's just so many rules. Okay. Okay. This is going to dry, but this looks pretty already. That text is really pretty. Let me find some space for this. One second. Some things are drying up a little bit. I got to move them. Give the wet stuff some space. Okay. This is going really good. I'm really liking the way these pockets are turning out right here. I took a slow stitched, I took a slow stitched journal cover that was completely covered in hand stitch to my quilt club and the lady looked at me like I had lost my mind. <laughs> People will do that, but that's okay. It's okay. My mom thought I was crazy when I wanted to sew on paper. <laughs> People just don't understand. They don't understand why I do it. <laughs> that one looks so pretty. I love it very simple with these two pa uh, tissue papers right here, but it looks really cute. I like that. Again, that's just on cardstock. Don't forget to give me a little thumbs up if y'all have a moment. I would really appreciate it. Oh, get off me. No, get off me. <laughs> yes, the quilting lady don't understand the journal world uh, a lot of the times I've noticed. Nobody understands what we do. <laughs> Nobody understands. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just have a lot of people like, oh, I don't have the patience for that. Okay, just buy it. <laughs> you could just buy it now then. <laughs> okay, so this one looks really cute. I love it. Boo boo. What's up, boo boo? Such a little fella, boo boo. Sorry, you guys. I talked to my cat a lot. You guys already know. This one feels a lot thicker. 
in this one, because this one technically has two layers of napkin. This one only has one. I kind of like just using part of it. I kind of like that. Yes, my mother-in-law thought I was crazy for sewing on paper too. Yeah, my mom was, she thought I was so crazy. But my mom understands how crazy I am. She gets it. <laughs> And that looks so pretty. Again, make your own custom uh, tissue paper if y'all are into it. Just look up on YouTube custom tissue paper, but honestly, all you have to do is tape tissue around cardstock and run it to your print. Those are the instructions. <laughs> and so I did, and it was wonderful. And again, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to on these. I might iron these so that they come out a little bit more flat. I have found that works. You could also put them under something heavy. Um, so you have to make sure that they're nice and flat before I sew them. I know it kind of flipped its lid right here. Okay, that's fine. We'll just rip it off. Hi, Dorcas. Is it Dorca or Dorcas? No, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I think it's Dorcas. Hi, lady. Okay, so there's that, that, that. These will accumulate rather quickly, <laughs> which is great. I need a new um, stash of pockets. So this is great. Dorcas. Okay, very nice. Lovely. Nice to see you here, girl. Let's see. Just cutting off the excess tissue right now. Get back to a couple more. More collages here. Cut is just standing in the middle of the hallway, just standing there. I don't even know why. The door is open. He can go to my husband's room if he wants. <laughs> He's just standing there. Such a weird little boy, Boo Boo. Why are you the weirdest little boy? <laughs> yes, this is exactly what I, what I wanted to build with a little stash of pockets for the next journals that I make. So awesome. Again, tomorrow we'll be sewing on them. So you can come hang out with us tomorrow. I love this pocket making. They are great. My battery's about to die. So bye, Karen. Thank you, Karen. I'm going to put this somewhere. It'll be cool like that. It'll be really cool like that, actually. Why are you crying, boy? Why are you crying, boy? Who hurt you, baby? <laughs> Hang on, I'm having a hard time figuring out where to cut here. Okay. I see it. I see it. Okay. Let's keep going. Before my glue gets to be like jello. <laughs> I'm honestly always shocked whenever I need five more uh, or Mod Podge. Like I said, it's such a big amount that you get that you really think you'll never use it up. And then you do, why are you crying, boy? Are you just in the hallway just crying? Nobody loves you, Bobo? Nobody loves you, Bobo? <laughs> this will look pretty right here. Yeah, that, that does it. This is going to be the simplest pocket right here. It is still fun. Why 
Why you sad, boy? You know, I have like chunks of glue on my brush. That is a chunky chunk right there. Oop. Get off the brush. Okay. Okay, better, much better. Okay, so we'll leave this off to dry. Okay. Nothing else to do, keep going. I have these little pieces of tissue paper here to use up. That one's cute. Maybe I could design something that's all black and white. That would look pretty. No um, flowers, just advertisements. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. Again, this is a uh, printed out. I printed this out on tissue paper. One of my um, journal page printables. It looks fabulous. Just fabulous. Oh, there's this bird. I go the mark can go right there. What are you using as a medium? Um, matte Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Some good old Mod Podge. I was really sure I was going to sneeze there. Okay, we must go on. Let's get the last little piece here done. This will work right here. This is pretty. Okay. Okay, so now this has to dry. That one's going to be a pretty one with that little bird there in the corner. It's so cute. And I'm just um, gluing on top of the parchment paper. And four by four piece of cardstock. Does hubby have your initial on his finger too? Yeah, he does. He has a D on his finger. Though he actually wears a wedding ring, so his is kind of faded. Mine, I, I wore a wedding ring maybe one year, and then I never wore it again. <laughs> I like lost weight, and then I never fit again. I don't even know where it is now. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Right here. Yeah, we got that was our engagement um, thing that we did. We got little tattoos. Let's see. Napkins everywhere. Just everywhere. And I'll keep right there. Purple. And this can go right here. Oh yeah, what do you with this? Oh yes, I love that. I love it. Nice, simple. Let's not push to 
over here. Yeah, I think it's cute too. I like it. Okay. Here's another one that's done. Just gotta be a little careful because again, the tissue is wet and fragile. <laughs> Wet and pretty fragile. So I'm going to get up to the corner of my table. Seeing what's kind of dry now. Okay, it's just kind of, that's not really dry. That's not really that dry. So tomorrow we'll have a lot of napkins to sew up. <laughs> okay. We did print them out smaller. Um, let's see about this. Let's see about this tissue paper here. Here first. Right there. I don't know if this one will work. It's just so dark. Like I don't know if anything will show behind it. Mm, put that off to the side. To work with later, but for now, this side's kind of good. There's a lot of white space there. <clears throat> so let's see. I almost used up this whole cap full of Mod Podge. <laughs> How does that happen? I'm telling you. I always buy the base Mod Podge too. Always. I'm always like, oh, it's going to take five years for me to use this up. And somehow, I always use it up pretty quickly. Let me get underneath here. So it gets glued down. And I just need this strip right here. This purple flower here. Mm, oh, and then I got this beautiful blue over here. Oh, that'll be beautiful. I love it. Okay. Okay. Who else has a large uh, stash of napkins? <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one. I have a large stash of napkins. You buy one pack of napkins, I mean, you're going to have them for like 10 years. You get gifted some napkins and you'll have them for 10 years too. <laughs> I mostly like to use them already all cut up, so I have, most of my napkins are already cut up. It's a little pieces. I normally don't really use like a full napkin design. I always just use little pieces and collage them. It's like my favorite way of using them. Okay, so this needs to dry. You too, Marna, you too. I only have a couple packs. Jen, don't get started. <laughs> don't start collecting. <laughs> So these napkins, I mean, unless there's like three napkins on a pack, you always got like 50 napkins. 
And you're just, it's impossible to use them all. And they know that. I'm just kidding. No, they, they typically think you're going to use them as napkins, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. I went a little overboard with the Christmas napkins. I kind of did. The second and third layers I use as napkins. It drives me crazy, but <laughs> I'm still in my... I did. I threw them away. Sorry to say. Sorry to disappoint you, girl. <laughs> I do throw them away myself. I do. Uh, let's just put some pieces here. I guess I could have used them as napkins. I guess I didn't think about it. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> Listen, you tell me something I do is like affecting turtles and I will stop right away. Okay, tell me turtles are eating the napkins I'm throwing away and I will never throw away another napkin. I love turtles so much. <laughs> I even stopped like asking for uh, straws because I love turtles so much. Okay, so this one's gonna have three pieces. This one's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. She's pretty fancy. Yeah, this is the way the napkin goes. Okay. It's not a napkin, it's a tissue paper baby. Oh my god. And this is my custom printed tissue paper. I feel all fancy. Oh, my new nephew was born today. How fabulous of that. I went to, um, my cousin had a, well, my aunt had a uh, drive through baby shower for him. <laughs> that was fun. I approve of drive through baby showers. I approve. Who's too crooked? Too crooked. And he was born today. How exciting. Can't even count how many nephews I have now, like a hundred. <laughs> All my younger cousins are having babies. I'm like the oldest cousin. <clears throat> They're all having babies. Fun to watch. I don't want anything to do with it, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> it is quite fun. But a lot of my cousins had their baby um, right before quarantine, or like right during quarantine, or during quarantine. So I have not gotten to meet some of them. So I can't wait till this thing is over. Well, I am vaccinated now, so I can go visit if they feel okay with that. But um, it's exciting. It's exciting. The little family is growing. And uh, it's fabulous. I love it. I love it. Okay, so here's this mess right here. That looks fabulous. I do need to worry more about trees, Homer. Huh, You're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm terrible. <laughs> the trees, Daisy, the trees. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I put down the, the link for the... the <laughs> I put down the link not for the page I used. Where did I even put it? I put it somewhere. Put it somewhere. Put it somewhere. What did I do with it? I wanted to link y'all to the pages that I used tonight. Um, these are what I used to um, print on my tissue paper. So if y'all were interested, y'all can check it out right here. Okay. And we keep going. I got another 15 minutes here. I've used up my Mod Posh, which is fabulous. This will go right 
here. And I also have a new cousin because my aunt and my uncle had a baby. I wonder if they had a, they had a baby like right before quarantine, I think, right before. I had to go meet that baby too. It's too many babies. It's a lot of babies here. Got to go meet them soon. Okay, so here's this. Ooh, that looks fabulous. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a lot of extra napkin here. I gotta cut off a little bit. Marina says she loves to print on tissue. It's actually, um, it's not the first time I do it. Um, but I have not used the printed tissue. So I really, um, I had to try it right before I went live because I was like, what if my ink runs? Because normally, like I said, I would not suggest that you get anything wet near inkjet prints. However, um, the ink is not running here, so I'm pretty shocked, to be honest with you, I'm shocked. There might be more babies born <laughs> with everybody being home. That's what people were saying, but last I heard, that's not happening. <laughs> I think everybody is afraid of their uncertain incomes. And I saw in the news that birth rates are actually down. Not my problem, but I'm just saying. That's what they said on the news. But uh, my family has uh, always been a fertile bunch. <laughs> always been a fertile bunch of people. <laughs> Some of my, <laughs> some of my uncles and aunts. Like I, I have one aunt that has like five kids, and I was just like, man, you guys don't have cable, y'all don't have no hobbies, y'all, <laughs> y'all like one thing and one thing only. <laughs> they love their kids though; they're so, they're good parents. They're good parents. It's just like, damn. Damn, y'all. Five kids. That's a lot. That's a lot of kids for this day and age. <laughs> right there, right there. But, uh, I come from a large family. Most of my uncles have three kids, if not more. So... And then I'm the oldest one, so it's just it's always been crazy. I've always kind of been the one taking care of the kids um, during like holiday parties. Like my aunts and my uncles are all drunk, and I'm usually the one getting the kids what they need. <laughs> I'm usually the sober one getting people getting kids what they want. I want something to drink. I want something to eat. <laughs> I've always been the. Um, designated babysitter <laughs> during parties I'm always making sure nobody's messing up this or messing that up let's see here this is pretty there we go maybe because you can hear down in the middle okay here's something no wonder you don't want any. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> yeah, I've always been that one. Let's see. There we go. That looks pretty. Get this out off of here. Okay, fabulous. I 
Yeah, I'm just uh, just not responsible enough <laughs> to have kids of my own. I'm just not. I'm just not. That's okay. <laughs> That's, and I'm okay with it. The only one that has not accepted it is my grandma. My grandma still tells me that I should have at least one kid. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, grandma. Okay, grandma, thank you. Okay, now this one's gonna go dry. Ooh, I have some my pockets. I love it. I love it, I love it. These are trouble. Yeah. You have Ruby. Yes, I have my cat. I'm very happy. <laughs> my cat is all I can um manage to be responsible for. <laughs> And I'm not even good at that, so I mean, I'm just not meant <laughs> to take care of uh, such legalities. Okay, so that'll go here. Oh, that one looks fabulous. I love it. That is so much fun, you guys. Okay, so I really do enjoy decoupage. It's really, really fun. And like I said, if you want to do a craft, but you don't really want to think about it, Cut up some four by four pieces of cardstock or book paper and just start gluing napkins. Yeah. It's always fun somehow. It's always relaxing. I love it. Nothing has to match. At least I don't worry about that. And I think these are going to look really cute. My little chunk journals. I did kind of enjoy using pieces of it instead of like a whole little, a whole piece of it. I did, I did kind of enjoy that a little bit more. I think you're being hard on yourself. I'm not, I'm really not, I'm being very honest. <laughs> Jen, <laughs> I'm being straight up honest. <laughs> Straight up honest. <laughs> I'm being honest with myself. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> don't, uh, I don't, I can't, I can't with that responsibility. <laughs> I'd get in trouble. Let's just say I would get in trouble. So I don't even, I'm just not, not into it. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. Okay. Let alone me, that's for sure. No, I'm I'm definitely nobody's perfect, but um not everybody's meant to be a mom. It's just not not everybody's meant to be a parent, and uh it's okay. <laughs> and I happen to be one of those people, and you know what? That's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Let me cut this part up right here. I am honestly still mentally like 18 years old, so it's just, not <laughs> uh, it's just not good. It's just not good. This would be right here. This would be cute, actually, at the bottom here. Yeah, I, I like that. I like it. Just saying, I think you would do great if you did. I don't think I would. <laughs> you don't know me enough, Jen. You know. I don't like to cook. I don't like to clean. I like to take lots of naps. <laughs> I like to watch a lot of TV. <laughs> I don't like to work very hard. I don't like having bills. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like spending money. I would, it would not be a good parent. <laughs> no. Just, I just, I just can't see it. But anyways, I, uh, I salute those that can. <laughs> Daisy, you don't sell on Etsy, only on your website, right? That is correct. I sell, um, I still technically have an Etsy store. My website, uh, is Etsy. 
It's just my own private Etsy, so I don't uh, I don't show up on Etsy.com. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It is Etsy, but it's not Etsy, but it is Etsy, but it's not Etsy. Okay, so this looks really pretty. I love it. Just saying, I feel like, <laughs> you know what they say, um, <laughs> What do they say, Jen? What do they say? Who is L. May? Who is uh, that girl? Okay, this was... Y'all, definitely go try and print on tissue paper. It is freaking awesome. Just regular little tissue paper. <clears throat> you know, my table is full of stuff now. Move some stuff around. Move some stuff out the way a little bit. And it always says oops when you try um I've heard of people saying that it doesn't work through the Etsy app you have to yeah, you can't find me on the Etsy app. You have to try and do it on a desktop is what I've, I've had people say. Like, oh, it doesn't work on my phone. But then they'll say it works on their desktop. I can't really explain that. And I, I've only had, like, two people tell me that that's what's happening. So I might have to get with Etsy and let them know what's going on because that is not cool. Um, let's see. How these little scraps right here. Um, you know where to go, Mo. <laughs> what am I missing, Jen? I'm. What am I? I'm not understanding what you are saying, girl. Like, why? Why am I having such troubles? <clears throat> You'll have to message me on Facebook because I'm just like, what? I tape it to regular copy paper, no problems. Oh, you tape it to regular copy paper. I have not done it to regular coffee copy paper, just um cardstock. Just cardstock. Pure cardstock here. I will have to contact Etsy about that because now a couple of people have been told me that. Okay, so that a full back and forth of see you later, alligator. <sighs> I am so lost right now, Jen. <laughs> My brain is not functioning right now, girl. Sorry. I'm just like, what alligator? What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, I am pretty much done here, you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to sew on these. So if you want to come check me out tomorrow, I'll be working on that. And I do have some journals to decorate. So I'll be working on that this week, too. Let's see what else I do. But um, if y'all want to get some... Dark Journal Printables, please check out my shop at snowyrose.net. There's also a link in the description box below. And uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and print on tissue paper, y'all. Like I said, just tape it. I tape mine to cardstock. Um, 
Marna says she tapes it to the back of, of just regular copy paper. Try both, see which one your printer likes better. And um, have some fun because this was actually a lot of fun to do this, uh, do this tissue paper design with some of my printables. A lot of fun, very airy, a lot of fun. So I hope y'all try this too. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see y'all tomorrow. I hope y'all have a good day. And we'll hang out uh, for a little bit longer tomorrow night. Okay, you guys? Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.